Okay, well, welcome to Maker's Mark Distillery. Uh, Maker's Mark Distillery is in Loretto, Kentucky, and we brought you here to show the source of the water for Maker's Mark Distillery. Uh, when Bill Samuels bought this distillery in 1953, he bought it for this very specific purpose. This is a limestone spring-fed lake, and that's where we get our water from. Historically, if you look at distilling in Kentucky, distillers were captive to Kentucky. Why? because of the water. Now today chemists can simulate Kentucky water almost everywhere in the world, but back then you needed that high calcium, low iron water. That's what made a good whiskey. If you look at what Bill Samuels did, Bill Samuels Sr., the maker of Maker's Mark, uh, he was already the sixth generation distiller in the family. But in 1953, Bill Samuels said, hey, we got to get back to the basics of making a full-flavored premium bourbon made the old-fashioned way. Number one, we get our limestone water. Number two, we test the grains to make sure they're quality grains, the corn non-genetically modified. Uh, we get that, we grind it using an old-fashioned roller mill press. See, that's not used anymore, but ensured a nice, gentle, soft crush uh, that wouldn't heat up the grains. We slow cook, no pressure cooking. It takes us three and a half hours to cook a mash that will be go to the fermenters. Now the fermenters, that starts out with the yeast. Bill Samuels redeveloped and reused his dad's strain of yeast. So now we got the yeast, the fermentation, we ferment it for three days. We double distill in 100% copper. Uh, in 1953, that was an expensive decision not to go to stainless steel, not to go modern. Uh, then we go to our woods, and our wood for the barrel is aged outside for nine full months. That nine-month aging ensures a bleaching out of the tannic acids that give uh, more of a harsh bite to your bourbon. We want a very soft front of the tongue. That goes along with the soft red and wheat. So when we take it out of the barrel, we do it to taste. It's somewhere between five years, nine months, and six and a half years. And everything we do here for 50 years has been a bourbon to taste, not multi-branding uh, to get different pocketbooks. Every step of the process, all of our employees see the end goal. It's that Maker's Mark bottle with a hand-dripped wax. So absolutely everything and every employee knows that the end goal is Maker's Mark. Uh, we know we're making Maker's Mark a very specific taste profile that's kept us in business for 50 years with one, one product. Uh, it's going backward to, to go to the future. I think that's what a lot of people are doing today is they're going to the more gentle backward ways to, to make progress. 